Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. And this time I'm gonna be doing sort of a sort of like a tutorial or or just you know trying to help the people that are mainly new to like ACC or new to racing in general and really wanna you know improve their times, get faster, and you know, kind of get confused by all the the more technical videos, you know, your trail break and the stuff like that. And they're just looking for you know small tips just to help you improve your speed things that you can do for yourself which ain't gonna you know ain't gonna make you have to learn new driving techniques or anything like that it's just gonna be things that you can see and adapt to by yourself just driving around the track just in practice by yourself and that is just you know learning the the, the certain things in the game that you can do you know to gain more time and it's on every racing game everyone knows this there's certain ways to drive a corner certain ways to drive the entry of corners exit of corners to find more time and i find a lot of you know new drivers or, or drivers that are you know maybe not at the, the the top level i find a lot of them that they they drive too safe they're they're, they're within a comfort zone and are not yet able to push outside their comfort zone to, to a point where they're gaining time and a lot of that to me is just you know not knowing what you can get away with every game has its own niche every game has its own sort of you know things that you can do to improve your times without not rocket science okay and to me a lot of the time i see these new drivers and i see they they don't use enough of the track a lot of the time they they break a little bit early or they on the brakes for too long and you know for me personally someone who obviously I'm not an alien but I'm you know I'm quick enough to, to to know the difference and the best way to learn is just to make the mistake go into a practice lobby and just let yourself make mistakes until you get to a point where you feel as if that is almost at the limit of you're at the limit of a mistake but the the maximum of the speed you can go through that corner and what I'm talking about is you know Catalonia the perfect track you know going into turn one making sure you're using all the the astro turf on the left or as much as you can turn into the corner so you can carry a bit more speed the same into turn four i believe you know exit curbs make sure you're maximizing those and you know see where you are at the end don't just take the corner just to be comfortable take the corner to the point where you're almost almost at a point where you feel as if you could possibly lose the car and maybe rein it in slightly and that's the sort of that's the sort of pace or that's the support that's the sort of feeling you want to feel when going through corners you want to feel like you're almost on the edge of grip and you need to you know get comfortable with feeling that and that's what i want to do in this video today so i'm going to do two laps around catalonia one is going to be how i view the majority of people driving and the other one is going to be how most people who are you know maybe in the top tiers in, in racing leagues or some of the esports guys this is probably going to be more of the line that you're going to see them taking when you watch them race because they literally straight on the limit they maximizing everything using all the road they can and yeah so anyway i hope you guys do enjoy the video let's get stuck into this Oh, my God. 
first of all, let's go through the lap that we managed to do. This is the first lap we did. And um, you can see on this lap, you know, for, for, for the naked eye, it's going to seem like quite a decent lap. Not really any mistakes in it, but I will show you guys where um, it's just lacking the, you know, the, the extra, extra bit of attack when you're trying to do a, a fast lap or you're trying to, you know, really improve your pace. Now going towards turn one, you'll see in the second lap I'll show you, we're just literally, we're not using all the track. We're not using the limits of the game. And this is something I've talked about before. Every single game has its own limits. And it's basically up to you to find them. Again, you know, some of the best things to do is watch some of the, the, the best drivers, watch some of the top competitions on the game, watch their laps and see what lines they're taking through corners, man. It's always something that you have to learn. I watched a, uh, I watched the F1 race um, last week. And some of the lines they were taken through at Spa before they got to, I think it was a uh, Huon, the double left hand in the middle sector, was completely different from what I would have thought. They were basically looked as if they were almost driving on the grass. But every game has this little nuance. Every game has its own little niche. So you have to sort of learn what you can and can't get away with. But going to turn one, pretty neat and tidy. We didn't use any of the curb turning in. Um, use a little bit of curb there, but nothing nothing too drastic and as i said before it's, it's nice and neat but again you know to be to be quick to improve your pace um you want to be nice and neat but you also want to really attack as much as you can try and use as much of the track as you can if you're driving and you're not on the edge of grip coming out of corners then you're probably not you know pushing the car to the max again here we are literally just taking a, a normal line, what most people would take, but you'll see on the second lap where I placed the car. So going into just turn four, shift down and you know get the nose into the corner. Don't quite hit the apex, but we're able to pick up the throttle. Not too bad. Um, the car's nice and stable. Don't have to use all of the road. And coming down the hill now this corner can be a little bit tricky i tend to like to take a little bit of a late apex so we can get on the power a lot sooner so again you see the late apex not having to use all the track again and this this is a theme i've, I've purposely drove this lap for slightly like this so you guys can see where you can gain the time so far the lap doesn't look bad at all you've not seen any mistakes a little bit could have went a little bit more towards the inside there don't use too much curb on the outside and again this is a corner that is quite difficult you really do have to um be committed through here kind of when the, the curb comes to the end on the left hand side is where i tend to turn in i managed to hit the apex the car got a little bit a little bit sideways uh, midway through that corner but nothing too bad and again use a little bit of curb on the outside nothing too drastic um and yeah so far i haven't really you know there's no mistakes you can actually point out or no obvious times for you know for the naked eye where you can see i've lost a lot of time through here or through that corner again we hit the apex and um managed to get a good run out of the corner and yeah as i said um you know sometimes a lot of people they can't tell where they're losing time until they actually go on board with someone who's you know really quick or or they watch a race of sort of the, the best guys doing it and then you start to see where these guys are placing their car how quick they're getting back on the throttle how much shorter time they're spending on the brakes you know? so into the last chicane here which is always a little bit tricky but we managed to nail it shift up to second that's to stop the wheel spin on on the corner exit there so yeah we can say we pretty much maybe barring one or two pretty much hit every apex um on that lap and um as i said it wasn't a bad lap 44 5 okay so we're gonna see the difference to to what a a 44 5 looks like compared to a lap that's about a second quicker i believe it was um so yeah let's go into the next lap and now i can talk more about where we're gaining and where we're advancing um in terms of time 
even though you know a lot of the lap is pretty much going to look the same so now let's analyze the second lap we did and as usual just you know hugging the hugging the the natural racing line into turn one now here's where it starts getting interesting as we approach in turn one we use so much more of the astro turf on the outside that's just like open up the corner as much as possible it allows you to carry greater speed into the corner we use a little bit more curb on the inside as well a little bit more aggressive and yeah through that through that sec through that corner alone i think we were about two temps up on our on the lap before so even just the, the most minuscule thing by just taking more more track on the way into a corner carries a little bit more speed your minimum speed's a little bit higher be able to carry more speed through the corner again now here all over the exit curb well the entry curve should i say and you'll see here what happens is we're actually able to be actually able to break a little bit later we get our nose into the corner and we're on the throttle sooner than we were before and watch how much track we use even though i was closer to the apex using way more track because we just planted our foot straight on the throttle again similar exit as before I actually think I turned in a little bit sooner this time around and get on the throttle maybe at the same place but we was a little bit more aggressive on the turning there's a little bit more curb on the exit as well and through this corner that I used to struggle with quite a lot I used to get it wrong um, I think we broke slightly later and we took more of an aggressive line into the corner I hit that apex use a lot more of the outside curb here and it's just knowing like what's going to invalidate your lap what what you can get away with here we use tons more curb i actually carried a bit too much speed for the corner so you can see we don't actually get anywhere near the apex but we still pick the throttle up and we're all over the exit curb and by this time i think i'm around six temps up now already even though you know the first lap actually probably looked a little bit neater but again when you're driving comfortable driving it comfortably in the zone you're you tend not to be on the limit of the car so again here it's all about the sort of late apex through this corner get on the throttle as soon as you can again we use more track just touch this curb on the inside this corner sort of you just have to wait for the car to grip up and then you, you sort of know when to get on the throttle because the car just seems to grip up foot on the throttle Again, for this section, we're going to use all the curb. That's to extend the track as we are turning into the corner. Give us more of a uh, wide berth into the corner. We break just a little bit later here. I actually kicked it in second gear. I meant to um, gear down to, to first, but I just kept it in second. And seemed to work i didn't lose any time i think even if i went to first i think i would have done a similar sort of sector but yeah and use all the exit curb again as we come over the line we see the lap time and we managed to go second nine temps pretty much nine temps quicker than what we did before and um like you know if you for me if you're driving and you're not actively seeking to, to learn the, the extra parts of the track that you can get away with you're always going to be driving comfortably the car you know to get the best times the car has to have a degree of being on the edge if you're driving too much if you're driving too safe then you're not really going to know if your setup's working how can you know if a setup is working if you're not pushing that setup to it to the limit almost you know you you have to find out how well your car is set by pushing it to that limit your limit is not you know the white lines on the track your limit is as much as you can get away with okay so when you're driving the car should feel almost on the edge you know what i mean you can drive just underneath the edge but you have to drive the car you know the the best of the best guys drive the car literally on the edge on the absolute limit and that's why the esports guys are so quick for guys like myself i feel like i can drive the car just below the limit sometimes on the limit okay and that's when you're going to find out you know whether the setup works because to me 
you can make a setup that is terrible but if you're not if you're not driving quick enough to feel the difference you're not going to know how good or bad the setup is because you're not driving fast enough to, to bring out the faults in the setup if you know what i mean so there's there's many ways of improving your speed on the game as i said you know when you when you're practicing you want to kind of push to make the mistakes you want to push to see how much you can or can't get away with and um like as i said if if we go on the onboard we just take that lap back again about here all right let's go you sit on board with this now and you can see like you have to have a degree of you know having to correct the car because you're pushing that hard into corners so it's fairly nice and stable through there but you're going to start to see more and more corrections especially under braking because i'm braking pretty much as late as i can without you know overshooting the corner but i'm trying to correct the car on the way in to keep it keep the front end stable so you see little flinches as we try to keep the nose nice into the corner and as soon as we feel the car hit the apex we're straight back on the throttle and it's just it's just getting used to doing it man like it doesn't matter what car you're driving especially you drive something you know that works for you but then find the limits don't just drive just to hit the the white lines and you know just hit the apex drive to almost be invalidating your laps and then when you can drive on that limit, that's where you're going to find a lot of pace from. It sounds kind of weird, but just go into a practice session and drive to almost like if, if you're, you know, if you're not really on right to the edge of the track, then you are almost shaving your own time away. You are costing yourself time because you're not using all the advances that you have. You know, the whole track is there to be used and then um, I feel like once you get used to how much you can get away with, that's when you're going to start finding time. And it's the same for pretty much every game. It's literally the same for every game. When I played Project Cars, it was the same. I quickly learned what curbs were good, what, you know, where to, you know, where to place the car on corner exits. A lot of the time on this game, you kind of want to straighten the car up. You want to get the car as straight as possible, as soon as possible, because it allows you to put your foot down quicker and... It stops the traction from cutting in which a lot of people you know a lot of people who are not you know super technically into the game or they're not really like clued up with certain things that does cost you time and the traction cutting in is going to cost you quite a bit of time now i can take a normal just a normal aggressive setup and get it into the 43s at catalonia if you know how to drive the track in a certain way if you look at a lot of the esports races 95 percent of the drivers in there you will see taking similar lines to what i took in the, in the second lap you're not going to get a lot of people just literally by the book just you know driving to the white line never over um yeah i i, I personally feel like you know just learning that on every track where you can really hustle the car and where you need to place the car is going to gain you at least at least half a second at least half a second on on most tracks man um for instance i i can talk about the tracks all, all day for instance if you look at uh i'll say that like laguna seca the first corner at laguna seca most people you know most uh, normal per people online or in races will just go into turn one on the normal racing line but then you've got the the guys who are really rapid they're gonna at least be using half of the the, the, the runoff on the outside of turn one to get the car turned in so they carry just that little bit more speed and it might be a tenth but you think about a tenth every single corner over a lap and um yeah that you know it makes up the time there's so many you know so many examples of it Mazzano for instance everyone knows everyone who's you know probably at a certain level everybody knows you have to absolutely use the runoff the curbs the exit curbs the inside curbs you have to use everything to gain your time around there you know and um all the fast guys do all the fast guys do and that's just about learning the game learning where to push and that's why i do a lot of practice when i when i whenever i jump online on acc the majority of the time 
I will just jump into a hot lap or just a practice session, bro. I don't really jump on ACC to jump online and do races. I tend to jump online and just go in a practice session straight away by myself. And then you just find the limits. Just find the limits. It doesn't matter if you're uh, breaking yourself here. You know, if you've, if you've just missed the apex, but you carried a lot of speed in, break maybe, I don't know, maybe a meter earlier. Do the same thing again, just a meter earlier, make the corner. I mean and that's the way you're going to find your speed is you know it's that's why for me I, I never ever use the racing line I never practice with a racing line on because when you practice with a racing line it teaches you how to drive within yourself when you're when you're driving in this game you need to be driving sort of out of your your comfort barrier and make that make outside of your comfort barrier comfortable and that's when you start finding time that's what happened for me personally anyway you know and then once you can start doing that, you're going to see your lap times come down and down and down and down. Anyway, guys, it's Crypto TMG. I hope you enjoyed my short video on how to improve your speed, what you can do by yourself without having to learn new driving techniques or anything like that. Just things you can look at within yourself to try and improve. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. It's Crypto TMG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.